What's up YouTube, Koi51 here, time for another video, and this time it's my first impressions video for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate for the 3DS. Um, as you can see, I've got the game booted up right now, and I'm going to play through uh, one of the... I'm going to hunt one of the uh, the uh, flagship monster for this game, which is the Gormagala. And uh, i got my friend who's in the lobby with me, and he's... Uh, you might know him from a few other videos, uh, but... Um, You'll definitely see more of him uh, in my videos. Uh, he's uh, my good, my best friend, uh, Matthias, uh, and he's ready to just pretty much go. I'm just eating stuff. So, what is Monster Hunter? Well, Monster Hunter is a hunting game. Uh, it's a ser it's a genre of games in which uh, the the core focus is uh, hunting. Uh, hunting a creature or a monster and grabbing materials off that to make better weapons and better gear. What makes this game so good is that uh, what makes this genre so addicting is the same sort of uh, reasoning that I give uh, that I sort of explain why an MMO is so addicting. And it, it's you feel like you're progressing, uh, but in this case, uh, it feel, it's it's a matter of progression. But in this case, it's not like uh, progression of stats or anything like that it's a progression of you your skill and um, your like your awareness and your your reflexes that's what makes uh, the hunting game so special is that um, it's it's always built upon a system where you feel like it's a challenge each time even if, if you've played for like maybe like uh, 500 hours holy crap he's right here so yeah so uh, that's the Gormagala uh, he, I would categorize him as like a medium level, a medium size monster. Uh, bigger than the smaller monsters, but there are bigger monsters uh, than uh, compared to that one. So, with the hunting games, uh, you are given a wide range of weapons to try out, and that's sort of like your variation of gameplay. Uh, trying out different weapons, finding out which one that suits you, uh, feeling comfortable. Is what makes this game so good. Oh crap! Just hit me in the face. What makes Monster Hunter so good is that it, it Monster Hunter is the pioneer of the hunting genre. This was the first game ever to create this sort of a uh, to create a genre for itself. Um, and for a time, Monster Hunter, when people were comparing the genres, they would always say Monster Hunter. Uh, so I've got my friend who's going in from the front. Uh, Monster Hunting games have been primarily um, co-op based uh, because they encourage you to, to play with your friends and hunt monsters together. And uh, the Monster Hunter like franchise. Okay, I excuse me if I'm, I'm if I'm talking a bit weird. It's because I'm playing at the same time. This is live gameplay. This isn't just like uh, re pre-recorded or anything like that. I'm trying to keep my mind focused on hunting and talking at the same time. Um, which, trust me, it's a lot harder than you think. Especially with like these monsters that just go at you because, you know, they want to eat you or kill you or something. Damn it. Go! Nope. Nice! Jesus, okay. It's a tough one. Can I jump off? As you can see, this game looks... So, keep in mind, this is a 3DS game. Um, and I'm playing on the 3DS XL. Uh, because it's the only one that has a capture card at the moment. Um, and this game looks amazing. Look at it. I'm jumping off. I mounted it! Now when you mount it, you have like a small mini game. Oh! I gotta hold R when it's trying to like when it's trying to shake me off and I push the attack button to slice it up. There you go! Now it's stunned. Now we'll go in and try to do as much damage as we can. I'm charging my sword. Going with the extra hit. Now we've got to back off, we've got to back off. I'm 
Now, the main, like, the main sort of gameplay uh, tip that I can say about Montana is always go for pokes. Never try to go all in unless you feel like you've got enough time to take it. That's why, um, uh, that's why I, I remember a long time ago, this game was the Dark Souls before Dark Souls was ever released, or Demon Souls for that matter. It was the, one of the hardest difficult, like, it was the high difficulty curve um, that drew in a lot of players like me. Um, it's a very challenging game, and it rewards you for that challenging gameplay. Ah, oh, damn it! I hit in the face. I can do it. I can do it. I can run. I'm doing risky. I've got no health. I need to. I need to run. All right, I'm healing. This isn't good. This isn't good! Oh god! Run! Oh, I think he's angry. I can jump! Ah, oh, damn it. I got hit in the face. Okay, so... Alright, uh, another thing about Monster Hunter. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the thing is, uh, the, one of the inclusions of in Monster Hunter is the, well, at least in the 3DS version, it's a first for the 3DS or the portable versions, is that it has full online support. Something that just didn't exist in the portable versions of the game. I mounted it. It's gonna try to shake me off. Nope. Gonna, hit some, gonna get some stabs in. Oh, it's. Step, step. Oh, God. Oh, God. Step, 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 step. Got it. And this is really important because in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, uh, there was no online uh, support for the handheld versions. That really limited the uh, replayability of this game because some of the later missions really demanded you to have, like, a, a, at least a sort of crew. And having the full online support for this version of the game is a godsend. It, it really does help, um, especially if you're stuck on a monster that you just can't progress in. Oh, damn it, I got hit. Uh, another thing that I wanted to say was... Um, monster designs are some of the coolest you ever see. Uh, think of it as like a greatest hits, uh, a greatest hits collection of the best boss battles you'll ever face. I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast. I am trying to like keep my cool because hunting, hunting, hunting in this game is something that requires a lot of focus. And it, you can't button mash. It requires a lot of finesse and a lot of timing and a lot. Oh my god, he just swiped me. Oh, Jesus. Go, go, we can do it. Oh, God. This isn't good. Oh, he's limping now. That means he's weak. Alright, so he's leaving the area. Okay. So maybe in this downtime I could talk more about this game. So, uh, I apologize if it's like... If I'm not talking much and this is supposed to be a first impressions video, but... I feel to make it different, I'm, I would actually play the game right in front of you instead of just having... Having stock footage and just like talking over it, because... You know, uh, I just wanted to have sort of like my live sort of reactions whilst I'm playing it. And the thing about these games is that they are some of the most depth, like they have so much depth in them that it makes you feel like you you are, um, like there's a lot to it than just, oh, I'm going to go hack and slash a monster. No, 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 there's more than that. 
there is a lot more like the stuff that you like you can study on this is one of those games where i've had to, I had to i had to sit down look at the lists look at the skills look at everything look at how i play the game and find skill sets that really benefit me get out of here I can do it. Okay. I think I'm okay. Go, dude. Nice. Got that final, got that final hit. So that's just what that's just an example of a hunt. Um, uh, a, a few things that I suggest to friends and uh, who are interested in the Monster Hunter series is go to the Nintendo eShop and download that demo. It is one of the best demos that have that I've ever seen in a game because one, it teaches you about the game. It, sh it gives you a little taste, of, like a big taste of the game actually. Um, it lets you try out every single weapon, uh, has unlimited uses, and it's full online support. So you can like play with your friends who are also maybe interested as well, and you two can hunt together. Actually, I highly suggest that. And I, I, I forgot to carve this dude. So every, after every hunt you have to carve him. Uh, and to get materials. That material in turn can become your weapons, it becomes so much stuff. Uh, oh man, oh, I uh, missed that last card. Doesn't really matter. Uh, but uh, the Monster Hunter series is really special because it's it was if you if you look at it from a game point of view, it's a very deep, customizable game that rewards you for playing smart, rewards you for playing skillfully, and it's a it's a joy to play, especially with friends. Uh, I'm just sending all these to my box. Storage, money, and stuff like that. It's a hell of a game because of just so much depth and so much fun it can give you. And it's really challenging too. It, uh, it used to be the original Dark Souls. So if you wanted a game that doesn't hold... It, this game holds your hand the most out of all games. But in turn, it, it's also one of those most rewarding games. Because it gives you a lot of tools. Like, um, it's, it's got more mobility than the other games. Uh, in, in most, like... It has like it has so much in it that it's you're gonna be playing for so long, and I kid you not, uh, like don't be don't be thrown off at the aspect of 60 hours being sort of like a tutorial. I'll explain that. Low rank, it's split into three ranks: low rank, high rank, and G rank. And I'm currently playing low rank, so technically I've been still in the in the tutorial for like 12 hours now, maybe more. But compared to what you're playing now, to later, it becomes a whole different game. It becomes like the end game from MMO RPGs. How um, the grind uh, to like the max level cap and the end game stuff—that's what you're aiming for for this game. So when I say that it's sort of like a MMO. I will, I'm not joking. It's a very focused MMO in which it rewards your skills, it rewards your time, it rewards everything if you learn about it. And it suits different playstyles. If you want to play the support, you want to play defensive. It has so you have skills and weapons for that. You have um, buffs. You have so many sort of uh, systems in it that if you're playing with a team, it's so it's it's one of the most rewarding experiences. So uh, I highly suggest going out. Um, so. Final verdict on my first impressions is this is an amazing game. I have never had so much fun playing this game. And if you want a good example of how much it's almost leeching into my life, think of it this way. I take the train to university uh, and uh, I have some spare time on my hands. I have like an hour. In that train ride, even though I don't have internet, I'm playing Monster Hunter. But I'm not hunting monsters, you know? What I'm doing is actually preparing 
myself for a big hunt with my friends when I get back home. I'm going out gathering resources like honey and potions and mushrooms and antidotes and all these materials uh, to, to prepare myself for the big hunt later. If you ever wanted a game that makes you feel like a hunter, this is it. This is the hunter experience. And if you have a friends that are like-minded like you and want to experience it together, it's the most amazing cooperative experience you'll ever have. So I highly suggest that if you are interested in the Monster Hunter series, go try out the demo. Uh, and like if and afterwards, um, get it. If you really enjoy it and you enjoy, like you really want to play uh, a really really well made game that looks stunning on a 3DS. And and if you're playing on the new 3DS, it comes with a, a second a, a second analog stick, um, and uh, better enhanced textures because of the better processing. So you're getting an even better game if you're up if you if you decide to get a new 3DS now. So get it because it is no way a slow game. It is fast, it is brutal, and it is amazing. It's an experience that you always cherish if you're playing with friends, and it's always filled with stories and memories, like you are a hunter. Like, it's like a virtual campfire. You sit down, you're like, dude, oh man, you are, you're great doing that hunt, you know, you buff the arms like that. You, man, you're so close to death so many times. Oh man, I, you know, it's the pinnacle of an amazing 3DS game that you'll play for a long time. So, um, I hope you like this video. Uh, I wanted to do something different with this video. I didn't want to just have stock footage uh, on, the, on while I was talking, which could have made the video a lot more structured but I wanted to actually have a live gameplay sort of play so that you can see me playing it and you can see uh, and like that kind of stuff and also it's good practice for me because I wanted to try both but um, I really hope you, you were entertained from it um, and even now like I'm just kind of just hanging with my friend just like relaxing uh, I'll have this as a goodbye I'll catch you guys later alright Quote 51 out. Stay tuned for more videos.